You're listening to Ask Dr. Jake. My name is Dr. Jake Tucker. I'm the owner and founder of Good Life Family Chiropractic here on the south side of Lincoln, the only max living health center within the next three and a half hours from here. I'm serving Lincoln. I'm serving Omaha. I'm serving Fremont. I'm serving as far out as Grand Island. We've had patients coming from Columbus, and that's because we do things differently here. We address the cause, and we Every single weekday morning, we give you another message of hope, health, and wholeness. And that's what we do in our office, too, with each of our patients. We saw a, a patient last week who was coming in just devastated by what was happening in their life personally. Just everything going on. Uh, they had uh, uh, lost a loved one, uh, just, you know, gave up the ghost, was, was ready to be called home, um, and was uh, just very much uh, grieving for her loss, her mother-in-law, just a, a special person in her life. And she got to be there during the passing to pray and to sing over her. But ultimately, uh, she was she was feeling the loss and I could feel the tension in her spine. And I, I mentioned it. I gave her the, the exact adjustment that she needed to help turn her power on, get her nervous system flowing and healing like it never had. But I also breathed life into her, not just with my hands, but with my words. You know, and, and it's not too often that you get to go to a chiropractor uh, who is at one point a pastor. Now, you don't get that experience everywhere, um, but she noticed it and uh, she left us a five star review just mentioning how great uh, her experience was. And if you've had a great experience in our office, please leave us those reviews. We love that feedback and we always ask for feedback no matter how it is. If you don't have a good experience in our office, we need to know. And we want your questions as well. So you can find us um, you know, by calling us 531-289-7100 or go to our website, goodlifefamilychiropractic.com. And you can get more information about our clinic. Also, we're on Facebook. I do these videos or these radio shows on video as well. So you can watch me while I'm recording. I usually put up some visual aid as well to illustrate the point I'm talking about so that you guys can see exactly what's going on, not just with what I'm talking about, but also with your health and your symptoms, what you're dealing with, whether you're dealing with back pain or neck pain or headaches or sciatica or degenerative disc disease. I had a patient yesterday uh, who called or who was texting me uh, because she was scared because she'd been to a chiropractor before um, uh, who had diagnosed her with degenerative disc disease. She'd been to other doctors before and diagnosed her with degenerative disc disease. Her back hurts. It leads to sciatica and it's affecting her digestion. And she, she wanted to know if I could help with it because she had a bad experience with that chiropractor. And I told her, look, it all starts with an exam. We have to see how bad this is. Degenerative disc disease is just in a classification of osteoarthritis. If you've been diagnosed with degenerative disc disease, degenerative joint, joint disease, if you've been diagnosed with osteoarthritis, then it what you have is something that is lifestyle preventable and lifestyle reversible. Now, the extent of damage determines how correctable that is, and that requires an exam and very likely will require an x-ray to fully evaluate the joint and the disc that's being affected. But if that's something that you need help with, then we are the experts here in the state of Nebraska, not in treating that. You go to a medical doctor if you want treatment for your condition. If you want to get well, Let's address the cause. And nobody is better at finding the cause than us here at Good Life Family Chiropractic. We know how to look not just at the point that hurts, but at the entire body to see what the causal factors are. I have patients come in all the time, whether it's with thyroid conditions or you know digestive disorders or even just pain, chronic pain. And we talk about those lifestyle factors that are affecting them. Sometimes we point to the spine. Most of the time we start with the spine because that's where healing happens. And if healing isn't happening, if dysfunction is happening, we have to start in the nervous system and see what's affecting that first. And very often that comes down to spinal alignment because we don't take care of our spines. Someone asked me the other day, you know, how many, how many healthy spines do you see? None. None. Our culture has not taught us how to take care of our spines. Now, if I was in some other cultures where they do live more active lifestyles, where they don't sit at a desk every day from a young age for six to eight hours a day on average, I would see some healthy spines. But if you've never had your spine evaluated, you live in a culture that not only doesn't actively promote spine health, but actively fights against spinal health with the things that we do on a daily basis. And if you're missing out on that, call our office right now. Pick up your phone and dial 
seven one zero zero again five three eight five three one two eight nine seventy one hundred and we will walk you through the steps to getting your spine healthy if maybe only for the very first time because we address cause we address cause if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired then this is the place for you why because we look at your health in a completely different way. We're not focusing on your symptoms. Yes, we want those symptoms to go away, but not because we treated the symptoms, but because we addressed the cause of those symptoms. And we start with the five essentials. Essential number one, the mindset. Paul said in Romans, do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And what is his will for your life? What are the plans he has for your life? Well, Jeremiah 29, 11, God speaking to Jeremiah and to the people of Israel through Jeremiah says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And this is, remember, this is a people in captivity in Babylon. He says, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And he did, and he fulfilled that in Christ. But that promise continues to live on because Jesus said when he came, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. And that life doesn't start in eternity. That life starts today. Living in the fullness of Christ starts today, but you need your health to do it. I've seen too many people that had thriving ministries that when their health was compromised, their ministry was compromised, their effect and influence was compromised, that when they got their health back through addressing the cause, they were able to to actually do greater ministry than they had done before. And so if that's you, if you're struggling and you're struggling to achieve that ministry in your life, then pick up the phone and call our office right now. 531-289-7100. The first five callers today will get a 50% discount off of the initial exam, any necessary imaging. And if we need to do it on that day, your first adjustment. That's normally over a $200 cost in our office. You'd be getting that for just $95. If, if you were going to do this in a medical office, get the same level of testing, go to your neurologist and actually get the nervous system evaluated like we do here for every single patient, that would cost you over $1,000, regardless of what your insurance covered. That would cost you out of pocket over $1,000. And I know because I just went through it, my son Zeke, you know, and I, I've shared this story but on August 26th, I, it was a normal morning for me until I got a phone call from his mom on her way to the emergency room. She said, Jake, Zeke, stop breathing. And so I dropped everything. I left patients on the adjusting tables, told my staff that I had to go to the ER to deal with Zeke. But he had stopped breathing in daycare. They had resuscitated him. When he woke up, he's still struggling to breathe and he was seizing. I immediately went over to him, started comforting him and put my hands on his neck while I was praying for him, I adjusted him. And as I adjusted him, his body started to relax. He stopped seizing. He started breathing normally again, and he asked for his mom. This is a five-month-old asking for his mom, and he started to feed. He, he, did, he, he went right to sleep, and then the, the tests began. He got a CT scan on his brain. He got an MRI. He got a EEG. He got the works. He got chest x-rays. He got blood panels. He got a spinal tap, all coming out over a hundred grand in testing. And they didn't have one answer for me. They completely ignored his spine during the, pro during the process. They ignored me when I told him about the problems I was finding in his spine. But guess what? Since that adjustment, he's not had a single breathing problem. He's not had a single seizure. And thanks be to God, he is actually healthy again. And so I don't, I don't care how bad you are. Nobody was as close to his death as Zeke was. He was completely non-responsive, had to be resuscitated via CPR and rescue breathing. If it wasn't for those daycare workers being trained the way that they were, he wouldn't be here today. But guess what? That, that training... And that intervention was in spite of our healthcare system, not because of it. I have yet to see someone get healthy, truly healthy, because they went to the medical doctor. Emergency room is a different story altogether. The emergency interventions that we take here in the US of A are the best, best in the world. But our healthcare system otherwise is so far underperforming every other healthcare system in the world that we are, for the first time in history, starting to see a decrease in life expectancy year after year after year to the point where now we are not expected to outlive our parents. 
Our children will not outlive us. We will have to bury our own children. And I pray to God that this stops and that we intervene and we change this. But here today, in the city of Lincoln, in the state of Nebraska, we are going to make a change in this healthcare system. And if your chiropractor wants to participate in this, have them call me, have them reach out to me, and I will make sure that they have everything they need to participate in this because we need to transform healthcare. We need to correct spines, not just adjust spines, but we need to correct spines. We need to train our patients in how to properly take care of their nervous system. We need to teach our patients how to eat well, eat for life, how, how there are so many right diets out there, but also so many wrong diets out there and have something, someone to guide them through what foods to put in their body and what foods to reject and what those signs are that your, their body is building health or that it's building sickness and disease. And we need to teach our patients how to move for life, to get oxygen into every tissue and cell and organ in their body, you know, how to detox properly. These things are absolutely necess necessary and essential for health, and they're being completely rejected in our healthcare system. But most of all, we need to teach each of you how to think about health and life and vitality, because we really are. We're at war. You know, it's a, it's a war between two different philosophies, a vitalistic philosophy that teaches health and life and vitality and a disease philosophy that teaches sickness and symptom treatment and symptom management that can, by definition, not get you healthy. In fact, the, 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 the Medicare definition of what's considered medically necessary states that any care that seeks to prevent disease, promote or enhance the quality or look longevity of life is not considered medically necessary and therefore will not be covered. And so, you know, you may have the best insurance in the world. We're considered a good insurance state here in Nebraska, but guess what? Your insurance will never get you healthy, no matter how good it is, because it's not designed for health. It's designed for sickness and disease. If you want to be healthy, if you want to live, then I encourage you to pick up the phone right now. And whether you're dealing with neck pain or you're dealing with headaches or you're dealing with back pain or you're dealing with a scoliosis or you've got a text neck and nobody's ever taught you how to correct that, our office is the best place to go to deal with that because we do the most to train and prepare for you to get you healthy and well and to do so from a cause and effect perspective, encouraging health and vitality and wellness and making sure that you're continuing to go there, not just today, but for the rest of your life. I'm Dr. Jake. This has been another episode of Ask Dr. Jake. You can join me every weekday here on KCRO or download my podcast wherever you find podcasts. We'll be back again tomorrow for another episode of Ask Dr. Jake. Have a great day, guys.